Hi, hello. Yeah, welcome back to Sea Eye Fishing Guernsey. So, the woolen hat's out. That means one thing, winter's on its way. It's bitterly cold. Right, let's get a cast out there. And let's see if there's any bass in here. As they full of boulders and snags. Perfect place for the bass to be lurking. It's a nice steady slow retreat. We're gonna start losing that light soon, which is perfect. Lovely, lovely conditions. What did I say earlier? The tide's dropping off. The tide's been going down about an hour and a half. 7.6 high, so the tide's ain't big, big at the moment. Come on. Give me a feast. Our previous video, oh, we're in. Fish on, second cast. <laughs> that white lure said, that bit of murk, I've fished here before. And uh, yeah, use that white lure. And bang, we're into a schooly bass. Didn't take long at all, that. Where is he? It's not actually a bad bass, that. Right, bring him up nice and safe. It's a bit slippery on the rocks. Oh, come on, buddy. Not a bad second cast, that. Come on. Gonna lever him up. Oh, there we go. Second cast. Produces a nice little basil. Nicely lip hooked. Right, I'll get you a little show of it. So we are, guys. First bass of the session. Let's go and revive in this pool. Just gonna get him on hook. Oh, come on, buddy. Only a small bass. Come on, not gonna hurt you. That hook should just literally. Oh, come on. Full of beans. There we are. Hook's just full now. There we are, that white lure, as I said, just had that uh, bit of an inkling. Use some with a bit of a, yeah, collar. That nice white. We're fishing that nice white. See how dark that water is? You want something that's going to really, really stand out. And uh, yeah, Mr. Basil, pop him up here. Somewhere safe. Okay, buddy, you're going back. Come on, don't be camera shy. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Getting all flared up. Oh, come on. Okay. Right, it's so gonna pop him back in here and we'll get a few snaps of him. Let's let him recoup. Lovely job. So we are one last little shot of bass. Nice to see. Hopefully there's a few more to come. There we are. Nice out of that wave. Right, let's get some more before that song goes down. Right, let's get back out there.
over as much ground as you possibly can. Oh, that was a big old wave. Let's have a quick change over there, I think. It's what to go for there. That's the thing. Do we stick with that white? We might go a drift minnow. Get some of that little guy. Someone's got a little bit, I think this is 40 gram, I think. Pop that on. And uh, yeah, see if we get anything on that. Right, let's get this little drift shadow guy. We're going on pretty well with these lures so far this season I like the action on them and you get a nice cast out of them as well that tide is really really pumping it's got to be careful those big rogue waves that come in they catch you out but that's what you want nice aerated water nice, nice oxygenated the bass will thrive on that Just that bit of head on wind is a bit of a pain. All we're doing is a steady retrieve so that little twitch. And a few more chucks off the top here, then I'm gonna just go to the right of me. There's a nice little gotter. <laughs> that the fish can just sit there. Hopefully we can get a few more. So it's on the move now. Yeah, nothing else happened that little mark. So uh, yeah, it's coming across the uh, bay the other side. Again, nice uh, froth to the water, full of boulders and snags. I'm gonna probably try the tackle house feed just for 20 minutes. So like I said, it's only a quick session. Nice to get a fish out, can't complain. And check out that sun going down in the background. Absolutely beautiful. That's why I love this time of year. Yeah, nearly the middle of November. Absolutely beautiful, not too, too cold yet. But it's going to uh, start to get cold soon and hope there's bigger bass coming with the cold. But uh, yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's get a uh, lure in the water this side and see if we can get a little bit bigger bass. Last throw of the dice here, guys. I've come to the other side of the bay now. So I'm a nice little flicking in this white wash. Any little fish that are stuck in the bowls get washed out. Yeah, the bass will just sit there and wait. Still using that Savage Gear V2 at the moment. But oh, this is lovely. Really, really is. Really pleased I just came out for that hour session. Blow the old cobwebs off. Wow, well worth it. Nice. Right, we're starting to lose that light now. I'll we'll just come back to where I started the session. Just having a few casts here before we call it a uh, session. Still nice running here. I'd expect to see at least another fish just mooching in amongst the boulders here, that's for sure, but only small tides as well. So you can't. Well, that's going to bring another session to an end uh, this evening. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little session. Managed to uh, pull out that one bass. I thought when we first hooked that, we we're going to be in for a uh, few fish, but that's the way bass fishing goes sometimes. Plenty more times we can come out and catch some more. I said, it's getting the fresh air in the lungs, nice and relaxing. And yeah, look at that uh, sunset in the background. What more can you ask for? So yeah, like I said, hopefully you've picked up a few tips here and there on this little session. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this one, 
if you have really uh, helped me out, you can hit that like button. Really uh, pushes my channel, my YouTube. Leave a comment as well. I'd love to hear from you. If you've been catching any bass or what you've been up to fishing-wise. And uh, yeah, make sure the notification bell is turned on as well so you don't miss the uh, video. So I say, it should start getting really hot. The fish should really turn on the next, well, any time from now. So just getting out, having the time to get out, really. But yeah, the bigger bass will uh, start turning up. Yeah, hopefully. We'll find one or two soon. We're going to the mark where I went uh, this time last year, shortly. We've never got those bigger tides. So yeah, watch this space. There's be some big bass coming to this channel, hopefully soon. Cheers for watching guys, keep casting and catching, let's see our fish from Guernsey, till next time.